Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be doing my November wrap up. Do y'all just feel like sometimes it's just too much? Like you ever just feel like you're just a little bit too festive and I think I'm a little too festive for this video but I'm going to stay too festive. Like I feel like I got the kind of ugly cute sweater on and then I have the Christmas glasses on but I'm gonna just be a little extra today in this video anyway so in November I had a pretty big TBR I read five books but technically I read three books and two of them I just finished on the fourth of this month but I'm gonna count it in with my November wrap-up anyway so I don't have to bring them back up for my December wrap-up because I feel like December is gonna be a good month I feel it like I just feel it in my spirit that it's gonna be a good month but anyway in November, the first book that I finished, which is also the only physical book that I finished, was Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I think I started this in no I think I started this in October and I finished it at the beginning of November. And I love this book so much. I gave it four stars. Like this was it was better than I thought it was gonna be. Like at first, like I was excited for the format. So it's not like oh I hated the format. I was so excited for it. Now don't get me wrong, it took me a little while to get into to get used to the different formats that was used. And then once I got used to it, I was like all in. It was like it was like a breeze for me so I really enjoyed this book it was really great it was better than I thought it was gonna be but I'm gonna do a full review on it so this video isn't too long because I want to do a full review on this video I just haven't filmed it yet and it was I just I really love this book I see why the hype was so big for it so I guess the hype is real for this book it's really good y'all like if y'all haven't read it y'all need to read it it's like um it, it has some stuff in it that I wasn't expecting in it but that's the it was it's a good thing though that it was in there so it's it's an amazing space <laughs> space adventure. Like that's all I'm gonna say. It's a lot of action. I love the action. I, I like the relationships for the most part. I really enjoyed this book. So if you haven't picked it up, pick it up. If you still a little hesitant, you can wait for my review because I am gonna do a full review on it. So the rest of the books that I finished in November is all on my trusty, wonderful Kindle that I'm hoping to upgrade for Christmas. At least that's what I've heard. Um, is that my brother is supposed to be getting me a newer version, but it's this one works perfectly, it doesn't bother me. I'm starting to run out of space now. I want to do a Kindle haul because I could do monthly hauls, y'all, because I buy a lot of Kindle books. I get a lot of ones that are free. I get a lot of them that are like 99 cents and like $1.99. So one day I want to do like a Kindle tour, like you do a bookshelf tour, but do like a Kindle edition. Cause I have so many freaking books on hand. I'm not gonna lie, most of the books on here I haven't even read yet. They're just on here. So the next book that I read in November is a graphic novel, and it was American Vampire Volume Two by la, 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 Scott Snyder. So I was supposed to read this in October, but I didn't read it. But I still wanted to read the second volume. Plus I had already used one of my credits on Hoopla to check it out. So I'm like, I'm not gonna have a credit go to waste on Hoopla, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. I'm pretty sure. I liked it more than the first volume. Like the first volume was good, but then this volume, I was like, shit, like this is really, really, really good. So I really love uh, volume two. It was really great. If y'all haven't picked up American Vampire, you should. Um, like I said, the, the, the first volume, how they did it, he did it with Stephen King. So Scott Snyder is like, it's, it goes back and forth between different time periods. It'll have one from like, the 50s or something from like or like you know way before early in time when things just started to happen to the present time in the graphic novel so then it's like uh scott snyder wrote uh, scott snyder wrote the present time and stephen king did all of the past times all the flashbacks so it was really great now the second volume i'm not sure stephen king was a part of the second volume but he was for sure part of the first volume the second volume i'm still not sure his name wasn't on it so i'm guessing that he wasn't but it was still great it really revamped my love for vampires but because before everything i would always compare to twilight and i'm still a twilight most people you know they don't love twilight anymore but i'm still a twilight i was still binge watch twilight i was still read twilight and had the same feelings i had for it then so this really was really good so it's not like I even it was great it's not anything that's romantic either so don't think it's like a vampire then I read Native American Songs and Poems, an anthology by Brian Swan, and this I gave two stars, maybe two and a half stars. I didn't enjoy this. I really wanted to. I really had expectations for it, as in like I just knew like, oh, I'm going to love this because any other time I read like, you know, poetry or whatever, short stories 
from Native American authors, like a bunch of different uh, anthologies from Native Americans. I really enjoyed it. This one, I just, I did not like. It, it, it killed me and it hurts my heart to say that I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. Now the two books that I technically finished in December, but I'm going to count them with my November wrap up. I finally finished A Day to Remember by Gretchen Nielsen um, Izaki. And I started this last year for Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And I said I was going to finish it this year. Like, no doubt about it. So, I finally finished that. And I gave it four stars. I'm going to do a review for this one as well. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. The only thing was towards the end, things started to feel rushed. Or the flashbacks started to get kind of crazy. It wasn't really normal. Like... I don't know how to explain it. Like they weren't, it wasn't clean. Like the flashbacks wasn't as clean as they were at the beginning of the novel at the start of it. It's almost like you start to get tired and things just start to get jumbled up. But the majority of the book was really great. So I gave it four stars. And then the last thing that I read is a graphic novel and it's called Concrete Jungle Volume 1 by Tony Pouillier. Uh, and I gave that four stars. Um, it was great. It's a short graphic novel to say it's a whole volume. I think it's only like 70 something pages for a graphic novel and it's like a whole volume. It's not like it was just one comic. It was a whole volume and it was really short but it was nice. It was, it, I like where it's going as to where they say in the near future. So it's not like it's futuristic like 200 years in the future. It's the near future where it's like um, things get so bad on earth to where there's another planet that they ship all the criminals to. So if you go to jail, it's not just jail anymore. You're getting shipped to a whole new planet where you're going to work in the mines or where everything is just a planet full of criminals. So every kind of like uh, country, I guess it would be, it's, a, it's run by different gangs. So it's different gang zones. And so there's so much gang violence and violence and period. And you have to fight for food and for water. And it's just... It, it's that kind of stuff that goes on and I just I like that it's showing like this could be in two years something like this could be happening like you know like it's the near future it's not something that's oh that's going to be in a thousand years or so no it's something that can happen now because violence like you know like gang violence and just violence and period is getting out of hand and crimes are just crazy so I like that it's taking it to that point I'm going to read volume two I think I'm going to read it this month but it is on Hoopla if, you're, if you want to check it out because it is nice. So I guess all together in November I had a pretty good reading month. I wish I would have read more but I just didn't have time to in November. I'm still doing my buddy read for 112263 by Stephen King. I knew I was going to finish that in November just because we're discussing six chapters every week. So I knew that was going to be like a December finish. But I think I'm 70 or 60% or like 70 something percent uh, through the book. But so far that book is really great too and apparently there's a movie that's that was on hulu there was a hulu original movie and i think i really want to watch that because the book itself is really great and i know they say with stephen king his books can be his hits or misses but i haven't had any bad experience with stephen king so far and i really am enjoying this book it's a lot of stuff going on like it's not a lot of stuff to where it's overwhelming but it's a lot of stuff to where it's a lot of action and it keeps your heart pumping and it keeps you just like it makes you really think about what ifs you know like it's really it's a really great book so um yeah that's all i have for my november wrap up i don't think i'm going to do a december tbr just because i don't know exactly what i want to go between with my december tbr i'm going to do the very merry readathon and then i have some books that i checked out from the library and I think this month is going to be a real library month for me. So uh, I think this is going to be a readers I go kind of month. And just going to have a nice wrap up. Because I went to the library for the first time in a while. And uh, I'm just going to discuss that in my library haul video. Because I didn't even get as many books as I wanted to get. Because I felt like I was taking too long. But yeah. Um, yeah, so that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it.